Okay, we are on our way to dinner. So Ron and I have steakhouse reservations, so we can have some alone time. The boys and Jimmy are going to the Windjammer, and then we're gonna get her to the kids club, so. And we'll try to meet up later for a show. for the kids for dinner. Joe has salami, mac and cheese, broccoli, and cucumbers. The boys have chicken tenders, fries, vegetables, salad, mac and cheese, and chicken tenders. Me and Daddy will have steak and filet mignon and lobster and stuff. Yummy mm -hmm. yum. yum. Yes, thank you. So first course, I got shrimp cocktail. Ron got the, what kind of bacon is that? Some sort of bacon, it's her specialty. The shrimp cocktail. All right, I got the crispy goat cheese salad. And Ron got the lobster bisque. All right, I got the lobster. How long have you lived in Temecula? And Did you know Rear, Steven tater Holland. tots, asparagus, and Holland, like the country. Okay. All right. For dessert, I got the red velvet cake. Ron got the warm apple pie a la mode. All right, so Ron changed out his apple pie. The apple pie wasn't good at all. Um, especially the apple blossoms in the main dining room were so delicious, the apple pie was not good. So he traded out for a cheesecake, which looks really good. All right, so we had chops grill for um, dinner tonight. It was okay. It wasn't up charge. Um, just everything needed some salt. Um, Ron got the ribeye. Um, it had good flavor, it just needed salt, some seasoning. Um, my lobster was seasoned, but like the, the tater tots, asparagus, all of that stuff was bland. And they said it was shareable, but we only had like three large tater tots and what, five asparagus? Five <laughs> so he said that the, the sides were shareable and they really were laughable. So, but it was a good experience. I don't know if I would upgrade again to Chops Grill. Um, but it tastes good. wasn't wasn't bad. Just needed some salt. Oh, it's a turtle. What is it? It's a turtle. That is a turtle. It's cute. Isn't it's it? easy to see what it is with the shell. That's cool, oh, isn't it? I took it off. Oh, Jo Marie. <laughs> she took the shell off. <laughs> All right. Good morning again. It's day five, and um, this is the last full day of our cruise of this first part of our um, adventure. Um, we're gonna, the boys are just now getting up, so we're gonna go ahead and have some breakfast. It's a very windy day out today, um, but we're just gonna enjoy and make the best of it and um, see what else the ship has to offer. I am rocking my melanin at sea shirt today. Um, if you're not part of this Facebook group, I recommend you join. Um, Rich and Jazzy, they are the moderators, the owners of this group. Um, and if you don't follow them on Facebook, I highly recommend they're one of my um, favorite cruise vloggers. They travel as a family, um, but definitely follow Jazzy and, uh, and Rich. Um, and yeah, so we're off to go get some breakfast. I might have the breakfast. All right, we decided to get breakfast from the Windjammer. This is our second time getting breakfast from the Windjammer. Jamari got some oatmeal with raisins and brown sugar, scrambled egg, bacon, sausage. I'm not sure a donut with you. Donut? I have my own donut here. But I, I appreciate that. I and then I got us some muesli and some parfaits. And then I got scrambled eggs, bacon, so Indian scrambled eggs, Why some hash, and a donut. And then only four, only two my husband went and got me a specialty coffee. So I'm going to enjoy the boys are getting their foods now. Is it good, Joe? Yeah. You should have told me they had it. That I love that. Hash, you can have some of my hash. I love okay? hash. We like ours well done, but we'll eat this. It's okay. Yeah. So Dyson got looks like carbs on carbs on carbs. Yeah. <laughs> so we got some some donuts. donuts. Oh, you got some protein eggs. Did they fry those specially for you? 
or they made um, it? Was just, they just put it on a plate. Okay. And you got bacon and sausage. They said you got chicken sausage instead of pork sausage. So you, you might taste it different. You got some so the nice thing about Windjammer, the nice thing about Windjammer is that they do have a um, what they call a live cooking uh, section where they'll make you like made to order eggs, omelets, um, waffles, pancakes, things like that. Um, but the, everything up there is pretty fresh. So like the, the pre-made pancakes and everything. They had some blueberry and chocolate chip up there. Looked pretty good. Um, but they have a lot of options. So this is probably one of the best um, buffets I've been to as far as um, quality and what they have to offer. So lots here in the Windjammer. Maybe. See what. Oh, you got the Indian scrambled eggs like I did. Mm -hmm. Potatoes and bacon. Okay, looks good. Even from the day. Mm -hmm. Yep. There goes Drew. Let's see. What did you get? Oh, son, you gotta go back and get some more food. Mm -hmm. You got one pancake and a donut. Go get you some eggs and bacon. You know where that stuff is? <laughs> leave, leave that plate here. Go get you some eggs, bacon, and sausage. What happened, Joe? <laughs> oh, don't cry over spilled milk. We'll get it cleaned up, okay? All right, the kids are gonna try out the sky pad. Hoping that Joe can get on it. So we had to take a little break before going out to the flow rider. So Joe Marie tends to have uh, allergic reactions to bug bites. And you can see her leg is swollen. I think that happened yesterday when we were on the horseback riding. Um, she gets bit by like a mosquito or anything. She swells up. Um, so we're just going to ice her and let her elevate for a little bit before going to... She wants to get on the water slides, but we want to make sure her leg is okay. Yeah, so that's one reason why I would recommend. Um, I personally don't get the travel insurance from the cruise line directly, but it's nice to have. That way, if we needed to get her to the medical center, we could and it wouldn't, you know, cost an arm and a leg to uh, make that happen. But because I know that, you know, the way to help her leg is by giving her some um, pain reliever, um, Benadryl, and to ice it, um, she'll be fine um, in a couple of hours or what have you. Um, but yeah, definitely consider having that, especially now nowadays with COVID, you don't wanna have all those extra charges if you have to visit the medical center. But yep, her leg should be good as new here soon. Feel okay? Yeah. Yeah, you're fine, oh, dramatic.
disappointed she's not able to get on the water slide we checked her height this morning but we didn't realize she was in her sneakers at the time she has to be barefoot to go down the slide and she's just you know almost there she just needed like a quarter of an inch half an inch and she would be able to make it so that's fine we're gonna get on the slide tomorrow i know you're telling nothing that her leg hurts from her bug bite so all right so that's fine baby we'll get on slides tomorrow I know you do. I know that's disappointing. But, you know, it's life. We'll get over and move forward, right? And have fun. Okay? Alright. Just love these ocean views. That's another Royal Caribbean ship out there. Alright, so this is one spot we have not tried. It is complimentary for lunch. But in Santa Claus, though. So Joe Marie, they have just regular hot dog. They have apple and chicken and sausage. Sicilian pork sausage. Um, let's get her the classic hot dog. Yeah, I would love normal. Do you want ketchup mustard? I want. I, I just want mustard. A little bit of mustard, please. Anything else? Anything else, Joe? No. No. I'm not for her. I'm not gonna have any. Ooh, look at your hot dog. Ooh. And I'm gonna have. Can I have uh, I'm it. gonna have two. Can I have the classic beef with onions and mustard? Just a little bit of mustard, though. Let me close it all the way down. The other one, I'm gonna try the um, Sicilian pork sausage, and I'll just have that plain. Thank you so much.
my guys. Alright, hot dogs on the balcony with Joe. I know how to eat a hot dog. I know. It looks tasty. It's hard with your teeth though. Can I take the bun off? I'm not much of a hot dog eater, but he said I wanted to get two just to try them. If I eat a hot dog, I want mustard and onions. Yeah, put the bun down. Put the bun down so it's probably hot, baby. That's bad. Enjoy. All right, not much cruise content today. We've been kind of relaxing and chilling, getting things packed up and ready to go for the next cruise. Um, we'll have to do laundry when we get on board the Sunrise because Royal Caribbean does not have any um, laundry facilities. So we will um, need to do that when we get on board. But we're gonna take a break. I'm gonna go down to the Promenade Cafe get some cookies that's something that i haven't tried this cruise um that i see a lot on youtube and facebook so i'm gonna go down to the cafe promenade get some cookies relax a little bit longer uh joe marie wants to go to the kids club so we'll probably need to get in line there at about 2 20. um two three o'clock is when kids club opens for this afternoon so that's a three to five session and she wants to go hang out for a little bit so i'm um, almost finished packing and we're gonna get a quick snack and then Joe Marie's going to the kids club. Ah. What's wrong? You need help with your shoes? Yes. I got gotcha. you. Okay. And I guess I should clarify. Royal does not have self-service as far as laundry. Um, whereas Carnival, some of the Carnival ships, they do. I know for a fact that Carnival Sunrise does because we were on Carnival Sunrise in September. Um, Royal does offer a package. They, I think they put it on our in our cabin like day three where it was like $35, fill this bag and they'll wash, dry and fold. Um, but for a family of five, that's a, you know, an added cost that we really don't need. So we'll just pack our dirty clothes and we'll wash them as soon as we get on board the Carnival Sunrise. Some of the cookies and snacks they have here in the Cafe Promenade. Let's get them on. So all of this is complimentary in the Promenade Cafe. Jimmer, what do you want from here? I want to try the apple sauce. All right, I already forgot what we ordered. What was that, like a peach? shortcake or something yep. and then Ron got an apricot tart and then a couple of oatmeal raisin cookies and chocolate chip cookies all of that is um, complimentary in the cafe promenade how's it taste good down I liked it I love it oh, okay and that's peach is it let mommy try a little bit I think it's peach I can't remember what we ordered and it's peach mom I wanted something that balls boom. Peace. Whatever it is, it's very I want some light in flavor. So if you're looking for a dessert there's that's orange not, inside of it. Oh, there is orange inside? Or oh, maybe that's the peak. Maybe I missed that part. We try that bite. Because mine's very light. Mommy, why? No, I don't have a little cake. You have plenty of cake, girl. <laughs> yeah it's good it's just it's very light so if you like light dessert that's the way to go it's not sweet it has like a whipped cream which i ron's apricot while he's gone so apricot tart i'm telling dad i'm telling dad that's good Why? dad won't miss that little bite oh yeah the apricot tart is really good oh, even though he had and you can't go wrong with oatmeal raisin cookies. Wow, Actually, you can on these. <laughs> it's pretty hard. <laughs> so I might just pass on the cookies today. <laughs> it's pretty hard. Okay, I checked that back. They're hard in a good way. These cookies are, I don't want to say brittle-like, but they're like hard and chewy so they go perfectly with a cup of coffee I think 
So not bad. I take back what I said. Can I try strawberry? So we figured while we're here, we might as well just try all the little desserts. I mean, they're tiny portions, so we'll try. I guess Ron's eating that Jello because I don't do Jello. Oh, Jello for Joe. And then that's um, yeah, blueberry cheesecake there. So um, chocolate chip cookies are good too. Jelly. Jello, not jelly. I want the jelly. <laughs> Jello. Alright, I'm just sitting here in the Star Lounge waiting for bingo to start. I came real early this time, so probably about 45 minutes before card sales, just to make sure I was able to get a seat because the last bingo game, it filled up so fast and I was not able to get a spot. So definitely want to give bingo a try, but it's empty right now, look. So this is the $62 bingo package. Comes with two of these strips, which I never went at. Gives you a tablet with, how many did she say? 36 cards? I think there's 36 cards on there. Yeah, 36 cards. Um, and then you get a six pack there to play and a bingo dauber. If you do the $52 package, um, it comes with nine cards, two of these and a bingo dauber. And then if you do the $42 package, it just comes with a six pack and two of these. So you up your chances by having the 36 on the tablet. And there's only select tablets. And I got here probably at least 45 minutes before doors open, before ticket sales started, and there's a long line. So it's pretty popular in the way it looks like. He's not liking that I got the $62 pack. <laughs> I hate that they announced the prices. So I know he was over here listening, like, oh, she's gonna get that $62 package, and I did. So, wish me luck. So, y'all, yeah, if you can see that, that's $14.99 for some Benadryl. 24 tablets that you can pay $5 for. Um, so, don't make the mistake that I did and not bring it with you. Um, Joe Marie's leg is still swollen, so I feel more comfortable giving her something tonight. Um, but yeah, don't make that mistake. Um, $15 for some Benadryl is ridiculous, but we gotta make sure she's taken care of. I packed all kinds of medicine, but no Benadryl. <laughs> so, and I know that's what she needs to help with the swelling in her leg. So, had to get it at that cost, $15.99. Also, I had no luck at bingo, but it was fun to play. I just hate that they call so slowly on these cruise ships. Like it gets boring after a while, but there's three games and uh, I think he was 13 year old, he won. Um, was it sub over $700, so not bad. All right, we are off to the main dining room for the last time on this cruise. Off to dinner. We debated whether we were gonna go back to the main dining room for dinner not that it's bad or anything um or if we were going to just do the wind jammer because we have not done the wind jammer for dinner but we really like the um main dining room um the food is really good and we had to get the apple blossom one more time <laughs> before getting off it's really really good so you're gonna have it again hey you don't have hmm? they do oh. the braised lamb shank oh. it's really nice they noticed like that the jimmery wind has been eating lemon so they bring her a plate of lemons every night. Isn't that nice Joe? <laughs> I think tonight I'm gonna try the crispy coconut shrimp and the baked French onion soup. I know it is that coconut shrimp but you can never have enough shrimp. Then I think I'm gonna get the I think I'm gonna try try the braised lamb. And then, of course, you gotta get that apple blossom. That is the best dessert that I've had on the cruise ship. So we're gonna get that. I want the same thing you have. All right, and we're gonna try to have a quick dinner so we can get to the show tonight. Do you think you could do mom and dad a favor? We want you to, I want you to do it like a book report and tell us what you like about the royal stuff. But, you know, make it make sense. And then when you get off the carnival, yeah. So like a too. like a Venn diagram, compare and contrast. Okay. So we got to do from your point. Of view. Yeah, from your point of view, because we got to do a video on that. Since we've been pretty much loyal to Carnival, we've been 
since we've been pretty loyal to Carnival, we've been making some comparisons. Um, and they're not bad things, um, but just our preferences as far as um, between Royal and Carnival. So we'll have that video um, out following this series. So tonight is our last night here on the Mariner of the Seas. It will not be our last on Royal Caribbean. We have a few Royal Caribbean ships booked for next year. Um, I do have that list somewhere in um, YouTube somewhere, so um, I'll link that below, but um, it won't be our last. Yeah, actually, yeah. So, so we're going to enjoy this dinner tonight and try to get to the show before we finish packing and go to bed. We have an early morning. We check in with Carnival Sunrise tomorrow at 11.30 and it's like a three hour drive or so from Port Canaveral to Miami. All right, appetizers for tonight. I got the coconut shrimp. And he got his shrimp cocktail as usual. Joe okay, Marie's fancy with her shrimp cocktail. Dyson got some salmon. And Drew, what'd you get, Drew? The Caesar salad. Caesar salad, yummy. So their service is phenomenal. Ron went to order another shrimp. He said he already brought him one. Because we eat a lot of shrimp. <laughs> That's awesome, he's good. <laughs> All right, and I forgot that I ordered some French onion soup. Yum, yum. Hey, can I try it? Yeah, you want to try it? Yeah, I sure. Must, I have my spoon. Okay, I'll give you some. All right, for dinner, Drew got the cheese tortellini. More pasta for him. Jason got the steak. We got the lamb shank, which looks really good. Ron got more steak. And Joe Marie got turkey. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, and dessert, the boys got the creme brulee. Sure got the same thing. It's nut free, so that's what they've been eating. Got the apple blossom, that's our favorite. So we all got apple blossoms. Mm -hmm. Yummy. Yeah, by 7.30. We're starting at 7.30 and we're going to try to be one of the first off because we have a rental car to pick up to drive for three hours or so to Miami to board the Carnival Sunrise. Doors closing. Alright, our last one, Jammer, quick breakfast. Daddy went to go get coffee now. We had 15 coffees That's we could fine. use with the coffee card and we Doing have anything. four left so we're gonna go ahead and use two now. So I definitely think the coffee card is worth it. Um, I think it's probably something you would share with someone um, and you can definitely share it. They just kind of mark or punch holes to say that you got your 15 coffees. I don't think Ron and I could do one by ourselves. Um, so we've done like two coffees per day, um, specialty coffee. They have decent coffee at the Windjammer. So uh, that's where we're headed to. We're gonna have a quick breakfast and get off the ship. in a couple of hours. That's fine. Okay. Thank you so much. I love okay. you. All right. Ah. Daddy's going home. We're about to cruise on. Give me a kiss. Mm -hmm. Love you. Come on, boys. Come on, Mama. All right. Let's say a prayer. All right. 
Come on. Oh.